Why, hello there guys, my name is Fat Ninja Turtle, and first of all, I want to apologize for any background noise you might hear during this video. We are doing renovations right now, and it's really loud. And also, I want to say sorry for not uploading for the past few days. I had a really busy weekend, and I'm going to have a really busy week ahead of me. So, what I'm going to do in this tutorial is a really quick tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to make this rainbow gun looking effect. This one right here, these little rainbow flares, and you'll see it on the next um, shot as well, right there. It's really simple, and I'll show you guys how to do it really quickly. So what it's going to look like in After Effects is something like this. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this adjustment layer. And all I have here is a two extra clip. It goes from 100% to 5%, and it's got its frame rate. This is a really weird frame rate. I don't know why it's that. But it's that, and then we have it on Image Prep, Contrast, slash Edge Enhance, whatever. And then Warp In, Inverse, or Smart Blend. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just make a new adjustment layer really quickly okay best thing about this effect is you can mask like this and the effect still works fine which I love so I've been found finding out um, a lot of really cool effects like this lately where you just need to make the the mask really allows like um, not, not a really detailed mask and it still looks nice so what we're gonna do is go over 10 frames and get our selector tool and just play with these a bit you know make sure it matches it ever so slightly you don't need to curve it and just do that a bit oopsies okay and then I'll do two more and then that'll be it for the keyframing okay that looks good and then maybe drag that in maybe a bit less okay and I think that's good I might bring that in a bit and yeah we're good to go okay so I'm just gonna trim that up here okay After Effects doesn't want me to trim it I'll just bring it here okay so now we have this pretty easy mask what we're gonna do is click on our mask uh, adjustment layer sorry go to effect go to sapphire distort and then go to I think it's warp chroma there we go okay first things first um, blend mode put it to add okay next thing steps make it 70 center put it right here okay now this part is where it gets somewhat up to you so the at from Z distance you guys can play with that it's up to you what you want I find it looks nicer if you bring it um, above one for this effect because it kinda like duplicates the gun and it makes it look smaller and then you got it practically done just go to your F or hit MM actually because there's two things you gotta do expand this to um, 40 pixels so now it's a lot bigger and then feather it a lot no we'll see feather it a lot okay so now we have this glowing rainbow gun and you can vary the, you can change the colors as well if you want so why don't we put like a purple yeah so already that that already looks sweet and my dog's barking so you guys will definitely hear that and uh, yeah, so you can change the colors. I can maybe drag in a pink if I can get it. So now, okay, that's a little gross. I'm gonna change that up a bit. Maybe drag a lighter green. I don't know. You can do whatever you want, you know. But yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's just pretty easy effect. And you guys could also add um, something I really like to do on a lot of my gun effects nowadays is add a mosaic. And the reason for this is, well, first of all, that looks cool by itself. But what I do is I just drag the values up quite a bit. Okay, so now if you take it on and off. Oh, it won't fall. You won't be able to see much of a difference. Okay, if you turn it on and off, there's a tiny bit of a difference. Oh, I have more vertical blocks. That's why. Okay, you just want to bring this down a bit. Just play with it. Okay, so now if we turn it on and off, you can see there's a little bit of pixelation going on. It's not that evident. Maybe if I turn this off. Yeah, you can see it. I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's something different. And yeah, you guys can add that to your effects. There we go. Now, that there is what I'm looking for. That is what I'm looking for. I can't even speak right now. I haven't done a tutorial for about four days. But anyways, yeah, so it's a pretty simple effect. Hope you guys enjoyed this really quick tutorial. And I will have down the links in the description for the, um, the Sapphire plugins. So I'll have a link to the first video where I use the Sapphire plugin and I'll show you how to download it in that video. So uh, thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye and have a nice day.